Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jonathan. Today I'm going to show you how to really structure your online business so that you can generate consistent sales. Alright, so I'm just in Keynote here and I'm just going to do a one slide presentation. I know it looks a bit uh, intimidating at first, but I'm going to explain to you everything and everything is going to make a lot, lot, a lot of sense because uh, it's actually a very, very simple process. So at the top here, uh, I would just like to show you from everybody in their online business nowadays, what they're doing is digital marketing. So they're just running ads, right? They're just running ads, they're driving traffic to their product page, and then they go to the checkout page, and then they earn some money here, and that's about it, that's where they stop. So they kind of cut their entire business just, just like that. So I, that, that's why I put an arrow here, because all of your profits are determined on this process just right here, right? So for example, if you're driving, uh, a, a thousand people uh, through these sites, uh, tr through these means, and then you're just uh, on a 7% conversion rate, 70 people are going to your product page and clicking through, then another seven people are going to your product, uh, to your checkout page and actually paying you for stuff. So you're earning just basically only $80 for driving 1,000 people into uh, your, your funnel basically. So it's because uh, driving traffic is getting more and more expensive, right? This is definitely not a feasible way to really make money. And the, the reason why people structure their online business in the back end is because you offer value up front and then you really make the money in the back end. And people don't understand that because this is the top of the funnel. This is what everybody's doing. And if you're just doing this, you can't survive because of the, uh, the rising advertising costs. So basically, I'm going to explain to you what, what all of this is. And basically, this is called my uh, like plug value diagram of, of how, do you, how do you basically increase the value of your business for your customers so that they will be repeat customers as well as uh, to be loyal customers to, to purchase from you even more. Okay, so the first things first, I mean, everyone knows about this. You drive traffic tr through your social media platforms. So Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Pinterest, YouTube, etc, etc. And uh, this is the paid advertising portion of it. All right, so that's also free content. So free content is basically you're producing blogs, you're writing blogs, you're transcripting, uh, you're writing, po uh, making videos, you're doing podcasts. So you're basically publishing all this content that is already, uh, that, that is basically part of your schedule and something that is giving value for the customer because it really tells the customer something about your product or some uh, information or value about uh, basically your content silo that uh, you're basically promoting. So for example, if I was, um, so basically in my niche, there is uh, um, SEM Rush, right? SEM Rush is a keyword tool analysis, um, keyword analysis tool. And so basically they produce content on basically how to get more traffic through their, their, their tool, how to re uh, do keyword research, etc., etc. So these are just uh, content blocks, right? Informational pieces that direct people to their tool. They don't nudge them or anything. They're just matter of fact documents and uh, blocks that they write for, such that people, when they read the article, they're like, this makes sense, this is how I drive traffic, and this tool will help me enable me to do that. So in, in that sense, you need to structure your content around that, that sort of content silo, so that you are really able to produce uh, engaging content and drive tr uh, people and uh, basically nudge them to your, to your product. Okay, so um, afterwards, after you're driving this, this amount of traffic, right, you're driving this heaps amount of traffic, all your pixel data, all of this data is going into your pixel. And that is good because at the upfront, you're spending money to really uh, generate data. You're basically buying data from the big companies. Okay, in a sense, you're just buying data and you're letting their algorithms determine who your customers are because they know best. Okay, so after you've collected all this data in the, up, uh, in the upfront, you may not make money or you may just break even. Afterwards, you retarget these people. So you keep nudging them, you keep nudging them to the checkout page. So people who have uh, these are uh, retargeting tools that you can use. So for example, I'm sure everyone knows uh, Facebook, you can retarget people who have watched 50% more of your video, who have engaged with your posts, and you build lookalike audiences with that. You build lookalike audiences with that, as well as the people, uh, the, the real people that you have targeted. So your, your custom audiences as well. Okay, so after retargeting these people, these people will come back to the product page. And the thing about it is that as the pixel data matures, the amount of money you need to spend to get these types of customers will decrease as well. So think of it as an investment upfront that will pay off in the back, okay? So afterwards, people are coming to your product page and your informational piece, right? And then they are coming into your checkout page and they are coming to your funnel. So basically, they are really becoming your customers at this point. At this point, you're going to upsell them uh, one thing. Maybe it could be the same, the exact same product or it could be uh, something similar uh, product. So for example, if I was making money 
at twenty dollars here at this product, and I'll just cut off here. I have no back end. I will just be making twenty dollars per customer, and the cost per acquisition per customer is very high in the first place. So if you're only making twenty dollars per customer, that is very detrimental to your business because you're leaving a lot of money on the table. Whereas if you're just setting up this sequence already, this automated sequence, by the way, you don't have to do a thing. You just need to install it at the first thing and just let it run. Then you'll be making an extra fifteen dollars per your per customer, right? So not everyone buys an upsell, but then again, you're leaving money on the table and these are things that can be automated. So why shouldn't you? And uh, so, so upsell apps uh, generally, uh, they, they have recurring fees. So generally, you're already uh, generating traffic, so it'll kind of pay for itself. Okay, so generally what you want to do, you upsell one thing, then you upsell a second thing. Uh, then, I mean, if, if they don't take the bait, then it's okay. Either way, all of your customers that come in your marketing funnel need to come into your email marketing list, right? The email marketing software is free. So this is why I put free here. This is free as well. Because you, uh, you can produce content whenever you like. It's uh, time is just for exchange. The email marketing software is already there. That's MailChimp, it's free for 2,000 subscribers. So just put all, all your customer data into your list such that you're able to retarget them in the future. And that's very beneficial for you. So there are messenger lists uh, right now, but I'm not gonna talk, be talking about that. So email marketing, you bring them into your list and so you fill up and generate, as you generate more traffic, you're generating more people that you can retarget and really uh, reach out to in the future at no cost at all because they have already been your customer. Okay, so this is where it gets, uh, I guess, a bit more in depth. So people just think that, uh, okay, I, I'm gonna bring everyone and all my customers into this list, right? And I'm just gonna punk them into my email marketing list. No, you should not do that. You should immediately put an email autoresponder sequence to whoever subscribes. Whoever subscribes, be it whoever uh, subscribes to your, to your newsletter just from the homepage or whenever, uh, be it their customer uh, who has purchased already. This is because you really wanna engage the person when they are already been engaged. They are already interested in your brand and they have shown interest by already putting their email in. So you need to do your part in engaging them back, right? This is a conversation sort of thing, right? They are, they are telling you, I have interest in your products, in your brand, right? And that is literally, um, an interested uh, party already. So you need to really capitalize on that and really get your email sequence. Uh, I would suggest a third, just three emails. So once they come into your email marketing list, you can hit them up with a thanks, right? So you, you write a, a thank you letter of some sort and you offer them value upfront first. So generally people offer a discount, they offer them uh, some material, uh, some a free PDF document or whatever. Afterwards, uh, okay, I, I put your offer, but generally uh, email two will just be like an informational piece or something, but it's not necessary. Uh, in your second email already, you can really put in your, your offer. So you're already selling something because you offered something here. And people in exchange, um, not everyone will take the bait, but there are a lot of people and uh, their conversion rates that will take the bait. Okay, so you think about it as once they come in, purchased. So after two days, generally, I will already put in uh, um, like a, a discount sort of email that is putting in. And after four days, I'm gonna give them, uh, send them an email uh, giving them an offer. So in this offer, the reason why I put uh, friends and family here is because you want to put an irresistible offer that's something that they really cannot refuse, right? So for example, I put here uh, buy one, get one free or a really steep discount or something. And this is because um, they are already a bit detached from your funnel, right? They are already detached from your brand in a sense. So to bring them back, to really get them excited again and engaged again into your fun funnel, you need an irresistible offer that you need to send them. And that is because uh, don't think about traffic as just one person, right? If I am really excited about an offer that I have, I'll tell all my friends, I'll tell all my families about it because I'm really excited that this brand has offered me something uh, of this sort of value. Right? So just think of it as this is the touch point where you're able to really bring, uh, pull them back into your funnel because they have already gone through uh, so much of it already and they are already a familiar, uh, familiar face basically. Okay? So you can basically uh, email the offer and uh, bring them to your product page or bring them back to like a, a new piece of content that you have produced. And in this piece of content, then you can attach your, your irresistible offer that you have promised back in your email. Okay, so th this is why uh, this cycle of your marketing funnel is so, so important because people just cut short here. People leave $15 on the table and the opportunity for so much more 
and they don't realize that that is not the way to go and that is not the way uh, that you're able to scale your business in the future because this is basically indicating to the customer that I am um, I really want to establish my relationship with you and I really want to be part of your brand I like your products already so um, I like to be part of your ecosystem and they are already willing to give you money here so they are definitely willing to come back into the funnel and give you more money in the future okay the last thing that I like to touch on is literally the name plug, uh, plug value this is the plug value diagram so uh, I have given some suggestions over here on what types of plugs that you can put in so the reason why I call it plug right is because um, for example if you're driving traffic and then if you see like at certain touch points of your funnel at certain touch points one two three right there's something that's missing people are not purchasing right so you know from the traffic data itself for example, if there are 1,000 people here and only 20 people come here, then you know there is something wrong with this ad. Like in between here, there's something wrong that you need to fix. So for example, um, uh, over here, what you can fix and or what you can really offer value upfront is that, for example, you can give uh, a giveaway. So people like free stuff. You can give away at, at the first touch point. You can give away very, very valuable information, uh, free PDFs, whatever, whatever. Okay, then from your product page to your checkout page, if there's a lot of drop off as well, right? What can you give them to really entice them to move on to the next step with you? So I put in an example here, you can get a uh, buy one, get one free. You can, for example, if you buy this product, you can get this for free. The thing is, uh, so for example, if you're buying uh, this calculator, right? And you wanted, you wanted to offer this pen and, and this was like uh, $31 and this was uh, $5, the cost of good, right? You can just offer it together but you put it as just one offer. So you're, you're charging $36, but you're saying you're getting this pen for free uh, just by paying for this calculator. Okay, so that's basically this get this free offer. The last thing would be product page storytelling copywriting. So product pages, uh, product page descriptions nowadays, they are just very, very generic. They are just talking about the benefits. You can really uh, possibly beef up or change up the product page uh, information in this page so that you're able to plug more value and really entice the person to really buy your product. Okay, the last thing, really the last thing that uh, I'm gonna touch on on this diagram, it's basically, oh sorry, second last thing. Um, so retargeting is very important. And this is where the money that you have, you have so, you've spent and uh, you've really poured in so much money into acquiring data for this customer, you need to be able to spend money to really get back these customers because these people are warm traffic already. And these are the customers that you need to really take care of. Right? You really need to nurture them into, into potential customers. So um, even though you're giving like something like a giveaway here, right? Uh, you're giving away like one product. Here, I would suggest for you to give a discount. So you entice them one time. If they're not really interested, you entice them another time with something uh, different. Okay. The last thing that I'd like to talk about is uh, these two uh, text box here that I put in. I put in free and I put in free here. So these are things that are already free. <laughs> like you're exchanging time for co uh, producing content here, right? But it's free at the moment. You don't have to spend a single cent to do this. You can go on your laptop and you can type and write down your thoughts, whatever. You can go film a video, uh, take out your camera, take out your iPhone or whatever, and film a video and it's absolutely free. Email marketing software, this is absolutely free. You can just set it up right now, MailChimp, and you can set up this email autoresponder sequence. So these are things that you already can be doing, but you may not be potentially doing in your online business right now. And like I said, you're just leaving money on the table, right? So in this channel, I teach you about how to set up these things, how to really value at your business and to your customers. And uh, that's about it for my video. Feel free to subscribe uh, down below. And I thank you for watching and I thank you for your time. See you in the next one.